Goodreads update. Yeah. I don't remember where I left off. We did that so long ago, dude. Like, we were at 10, right? We were like 10 books, and we're both at like 20. We're, we're tied at 23. Listen, this one's gonna be less glamorous. I'm just gonna tell you what I read. I'm not even gonna tell you what it's about. This one. You uh, can fuck. You find it on Goodreads yourself. Yeah, I'll link it in the description. All right. And I'm not pulling them all like I was fancy last time. I'm not doing that. Okay. So last time. Wait. Let me start. Go to start a new video or just put it at the end of this video. We can. Uh, whatever you wanna do. The last Goodreads update time. Last time we were at, I think it was 10. We, I had 10. I had 9 or 8. Maybe it was I had like 12 and you had 10. Because I know someone had 10. Yeah. Anyway, I was winning by like 2 books. Two like books. I was fine. We're even now. Which, it's been a chase. Yeah, like for a while I had I got like a wind and I read like 4 books. And, I and then like, I read the whole Raven Cycle and we were even. Yeah, I was like, then like, yeah. I was up 1 for a long time, but this has got me down 1. Yeah, now we're now even. We're even. So, I finished A Study in Charlotte. That was the book that I was, like, in the middle of when we... Anyway, it was good. Five stars, whatever. Then, I don't know what happened, but I got in, like, an Agatha Christie mood. And I you read do it for school, right? No, I just... Oh. It was just on script. That's cute. So, I read, and then there were none by Agatha Christie and Murder at the Vicarage. I'm pronouncing that wrong. It's Miss Mabel, first book. Mm. By Agatha Christie. I really liked it, and then there were none. I gave that five stars. The other one, I was, like, lost the whole time. <laughs> it was awful. And I don't know why, because I really liked the first one. And I have two on the shelf, and I want to read them because I like it, but I was, it was, it was a lot. Then, um, I read Getting Away with Murder, the true story of the Emmett Till case, which, that was for school. That was for English. Yeah. That book was sad, had pictures, and it's just, it, it's awful. Like, it was a good book. Yeah. Very, like, like, it was, like, self- a real case, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, a 14-year-old... It was Aww. sad times. Uh, then I read The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. This book is amazing. I want Sarah to read it. She's not gonna read it, though. I might read it, but I don't know if I'll I read her it. a snippet. I think it's the audiobook's on I'll insert script. a little bit of that. Just, like, a tiny bit of that here. Of me reading yeah, it? Yeah, I filmed it. Spoilers. Yeah. He takes my face in his hand and raises it to his. Wait. Stop. I stop. It might be the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Then I read Messenger. Not a fan. You have to read the last book. I don't care. At this point, like, I've liked all of them until the end. Like, all their endings are so bad. And this one made me so mad. It's good, I swear. Then I read A Darker Shade of Magic. Which is a good time. You need to read the second book, babe. I just don't feel it. The second book pissed me off. It's and then this is when the Raven cycle happened. <laughs> so I read Dream Thieves. And then, I, okay, so I read A Very Declan Christmas. So Maggie Steve Otter writes blurbs on her oh, yeah. blog. And they're very, they're really short, but they're counted on Goodreads. So what we agreed on was I read like four of the blurbs and counted it as one because it was like a couple pages or something. That was, that was kind of a freebie. You kind of gave that one to me. Yeah. Well, you still read it. So. Yeah, but I read a couple because they're very short. Yeah. So I only counted one. And then I read Blue Lily Lily Blue, which is the third Raven Cycle book, which is good. And The Raven King, which is the fourth one. Oh, I bought the last two. I ordered it. It's going to come. Cause Do I you figured... even have the first two? No. Oh, well, I already read the first one. I just read it. I don't want to look at it. I literally bought the first two yesterday because I wanted the Cole series. Oh, they are the last two. Yeah. Because I didn't have those. I bought the last two on thrift books. But my favorite is the second one. I like it so far. It's it, There's this scene. I think you're almost there, and it's a good scene. Okay. Anyway. I love the gray man so much. Like, he's just living life. Even if he's bad, I love him. <laughs> and then I read Green Glass House last night, which was a good time. I really liked it. And then I read The Graveyard Shift, which I didn't really like that one that much. Stephen King book? Yeah. Like, some of the stories were really good, but some of them were just, like, they weren't, they had no purpose. Yeah, that's a collection of short stories, by the way. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Some of the short stories were nice, and then some of them I just didn't like. That's right. And that's where I'm at. And yeah. I'm probably going to finish this. The ghost of Green Glass. The ghost of Green Glass. Like a week or two. We'll see. I'm I'm over reading at the moment. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't want to look at it. Look. And it's bad because I just got to the really good part, and I'm just like, I'm tired. I'm, bed. I'm just like so irritated. I like I hate them. The Raven I boys. I hate everyone around me at the moment. Right. Until I get stuff. Like, to be fair, we've run on less. Yeah, I've definitely I've run on like 20 minutes. I just like, think it's because we're like we were like we're used to running on like 14 hours. That's true. Because of summer. Yeah. I mean, also because, like, we were, like, super stimulating our brain. And then yeah. sleeping and for, like, a tiny amount and then doing that more. It's like, I don't have enough energy to deal with it. We kind of did just chill. I did, I sat and listened to my Stephen King art. Stephen? Stephen. King audiobook and colored for a minute. Yeah, but that's that kind of, like, mind stimulating, too. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Oh, yeah. I don't know where you left off. Me neither. I've had, I think I had nine books. I mean, so I think I just finished the study in Charlotte, or like that was my last book, and I was reading Hold Me Closer Necromancer, which you need to read, dude. It's a good book. Yeah, dude. Fantastic. Continue. Okay. Either way. Yeah, Hold Me Closer Necromancer is a good time, five stars. Then I read The Alchemist, even better time, 12 stars. Just a good book. It's super short. It was super cute. Didn't you get an audio book? No, I read that one on script. It was so cute. And then I read the second Charlotte Holmes book, The Last of August, which was, like, it was a good time, but not as good as the first one, so it was, like, a four. I feel like most sequels aren't as good as the first one. The third book was a good time. Anyway. Um, then I read the Three Dark Crowns series by Kendrick Boy. Ken, yep. Uh, yeah, it's a good time. The thing I hate about her books is, like, it's kind of like this, ra- like, the Raven Cycle, where, like, it literally, like, there's, like, more, like, it's kind of like that, where there's, like, one big idea. Yeah, and, and like strum through. Yeah, but, them. like, nothing happened in the first book. It was just character building. Mm-hmm. Like, and then to, like, get to the second book where things actually happened. And it pissed me off so bad. But, I have it, but my problem with books that are, like, super, super, super high fantasy is that some authors don't explain enough. Oh, no, it was explained. Yeah. That. It was just, like, not, like it's too much. There was a whole book of just explaining um, shit. I was like, I want to know uh, what happened. See, that's my problem with The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I tried to get into that, and she just, like, there's so many different creatures that I'm like, I don't know what that is. Yeah, no. She explains it well. It's just, like, ugh. It's just a whole book, and you're like, I, listen, I could have done, like, a chapter, yeah. and it been fine. <laughs> I mean, I would have been confused, but I would have gotten it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then I read The Body by Stephen King. It's my first Stephen King book. It was good. It was cute. It, it, was, it, hurt. it hit, hit, it hit deep. Hit different. Um, hit different. <laughs> then I read 1984 by George Orwell. That was a good time. I read that for school, and it was fantastic. Made me cry, like, little boy, like, twice, three times. It was a lot. It's a, it's a good time. You need to read that book. It's fantastic. And then I read the second Kendar. Kendar? Kendar? Ken, Kendra. 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 I don't know. Whatever. Uh, the Three Dark Crowns book is called One Dark Throne. It was, that one had, like, all the stuff that I wanted in the first book to happen, so that one was way better, but, like, stuff happened, and I wasn't happy. And then I read the second Shades of Magic book by my wife, Schwab, A Gathering of Shadows. Like, I said earlier, that pissed me off, but, like, it was really cute, and it was a good time. Then I read A Wrinkle in Time. And man, I hated that book so much. I didn't like the movie. The movie was freaking terrible. The movie was awful. And then for like the three, like three fourths of the book, like the first whatever, I was like, this book is bomb as hell, and like goofed it. And then I read like the last part, and then I hated the main character so much that I didn't the care. The girl. Yeah, the girl. She was so annoying. It was just terrible. Yeah, it was two stars. Then I read The Guardians by John Christopher. That book was so weird, dude. It, like... You said that, yeah. It ended... So, like, you know how, like, there's, like, there's, like, this... Like, books are like this, right? Mm-hmm. There's, like, the rising action, and then there's the conclusion. The book Glad literally that. ends on the climax, and then that's it. And there's no sequel. And that was written, like, years ago. And that's it. And I was like, oh, okay. It's odd. I was like, write a book? I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> their own, I guess. I was like, all right, cool. He's a weird dude. It's, like, his pen name, but it's so weird. Then I read the third Sherlock Holmes book, A Case for Jamie... This book was a good time. It, like, I don't know, this book, I really like the Charlotte Holmes books because, like, they're, they're, like, real people. Like, they react like people do, you know? I just, I love You them. just like Sherlock. I you do. just like Jamie. I love Jamie so much. And then I read The Fault in Our Stars <laughs> by John Green. To be, okay, Sarah was talking. She's like, oh, I'll read a John Green book. 
And I was like, well, you got to read The Fault in Our Stars. And I was like, you shouldn't read it. You're going to hate it. I kept telling you. You were like, I don't want to read it. And I'm like, you shouldn't read it. You're not going to like it. I liked it, but I like that kind of stuff. You don't. Yeah, I I passionately hated it. No, sorry. It's oh, just, very good. I hate you. You come for your weed. I don't even care. My weed. I don't know. I just, I didn't like You it. don't like, you don't like contemporary I novels. I hate contemporary. I'm a fantasy... Mm-hmm. Okay, I think boy. No, this is all the right places. Maybe I liked it because, like, I don't know, he was cute. You just like Finch. Who doesn't love Finch? I don't know. It's very weird to me because they're kind of similar, but because they're... Anyway, continue. I didn't hate Finch because they're so pretentious in A Fault in Our Stars. I don't know. I like The Fault in Our Stars. Of thousands and thousands of people like The Fault in Our Stars. Oh, I thought it was shit. And then I read Holes, which is, like, one of my favorite movies, and the movie's better than the book. I... Yep, I've never read Holes. It, like, I didn't like the movie. Well, you're a slut. But, like, the movie has better relationships with all the boys, which make, is the only reason why it's better. So it's cute. And Zero's a little cutie boy. The him. movie's better than the book? Yeah, the movie's better. Like, it has better character building in the movie. Surprisingly, right? I haven't seen that. I don't remember liking that movie. I love That's that, that movie. dude with, the, um... Shia LaBeouf. Do it. That dude. Just no. do it. Is that the same dude? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, he too. played on that TV show, and he was the weird little brother to that girl. It was like Steven something. If that was their last name. I'll Google it later. Okay. And then I read, you know, The Raven Boys yesterday. So I'm at 23 books right now, and this boy's at 23. I said we were tied. <laughs> yes, you said we were tied like seven times. Well, we're tied, if you didn't know. We're tied. Sorry. Not for long. Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> we're going to bed now. We're going to bed, and we're going to sleep mm, for years. Because we usually get up at like 9 or 10. We're going to bed at like 10. <laughs> 12 hours. Yeah. Boys. Well, I go to bed pretty early most. I go to bed at like 10, but I don't get up at like 9 or 10. I get up at like noon. <laughs> yeah, I go to bed at like 10 and wake up at like 9. See, so yeah, I think the moral of the story is 24 hour reading challenge is a bad idea. I think we are point. bad. No, I feel like it'd be better if you did a week of reading because you wouldn't feel so as obvious. Okay. Like they do, um, you're not a big, like, in the booktube like I am, but they do, like, booktube a thon and other type of thons where it's like, seven days and you have to meet challenges and stuff see that would be better i feel like that's better and you do it with a bunch of people but like the 24 hour it's just too much pressure it's too much, to like, constantly it's, want to be reading your brain hurts it's like i love books it's just like i love, but like when i read a book i read like a hundred like i read like halfway and then i put it down and i don't touch it for the rest of the day and then i finish it the next day yeah i i stew in it yeah i don't like having a force it down me and I'm not in the mood for reading it. So it's not fun. I'm like so I'm trying to figure out what TV show this boy's from. It's all movies. Shia LaBeouf? Yeah. This one, even Stevens. Remember he was at a weird little brother and he built this weird chair this one time? Insert picture he of the chair this dude built. Yeah. I totally forgot he was in even Stevens. What was it what what did he play? Was it what was his name? We sort of golfing and we saw the name Campbell on one of the uh <laughs> on the We're sleep deprived so don't judge us. And we were like, where the find out the name Campbell from? And, and like, then I don't know. Sarah's like, I'll Google it and then I just went <gasps> Richard Campbell Gansey the third And I'm like, ah oh. This chair thing. See he built this and it had like everything to where he didn't have to move. I'll just put it in, you gotta show him. I'll put it in. No I'm, Oh my god clicked on it. Oh my god, I hate you. Send me Sarah that picture if picture. I can put it in. That's what I remember that dude from. I, that's a really weird thing I remember him from. It is, like, because I don't remember him in the show, I just remember him building his chair. I don't even remember that episode. He was cute when he was younger. I said it. I miss old Disney. T. T. It's Nine Years One Direction, and I haven't listened to a single. Well, no, we listen to Little Black Dress. Yeah, I feel like, no. Little black, little black dress got me through this. 
<laughs> Sarah, at one point in the middle of the night, she's like, I'm going to put on a little black dress. And I was like, all right, okay. then. Was like, and then you listen to half of the song, and you're like, all right, I'm done. I was like, I, okay, that's what I wanted. She had to go. I had to read. I can read with sound. I can't. I, I hold it, like I can't focus. Most of the time, I put on, like, one of those Harry Potter ambiance things. What do you mean it's the wrong it way? It was over here. Uh... Too bad. <laughs>